episode 97 of The Beardcaster. My name is Scott Sakura, and I am The Beardcaster. <laughs> Welcome to a podcast all about beards, mustaches, and the bearded culture with all the fun stuff that goes along with it. It's about the facial hair lifestyle we live from our daily lives and the world around us and how we deal with life. So please join me, Scott Sakura, Aaron D. Johnston, and Christopher Odom as we share the stories about these people and hear how they are using their facial hair to do great and fun things. Welcome to another exciting, informative adventure of talking beards today's show is the 2019 world and beard well how about the 2019 world beard and mustache championship results show that sounds much better than the way i was trying to say it but uh yeah we have all the results the top three finishers in each category we break each category down and talk about the three top place finishers and we talk about some other things that went on over at Worlds this year with Aaron and just some fun stories. So there's lots of cool stuff there. But uh, you can go to TalkingBeards.com. We are a live show every Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern. That's the East Coast of the United States. Uh, live on Facebook. Or you can go to TalkingBeards.com and just hit the play button right in the middle of the screen. And it will play the latest episode or the current episode if you're there at 8 p.m. on Tuesdays. You can find out more about me, Scott, the Beardcaster, by going to thebeardcaster.com. There's all sorts of fun stuff over there. I have a blog, which I haven't updated in probably a year. Uh, but you can subscribe to my podcast. You can check out some other cool stuff. There's a whole bunch of really neat stuff in there. In fact, I don't know if anyone notices this at the moment, but I'm suffering from allergies super duper bad. And if any of you have listened to the podcast before, I did an episode of, uh, it was actually now a couple years ago, all about allergies in your beard. Uh, that's episode number 32. So if you go back in the archives, you can hear, I interviewed a friend of mine who works with hair and we discussed taking care of your beard and all the different ways to help keep allergies or things out of your beard. So you prevents your allergies from being so aggressive and i've been really instituting a lot of the things that we talked about in there and some days it works some days it doesn't but it just it's a crapshoot sometimes but if you want to go check it out remember episode number 32 of the beard caster to find out about allergies in your beard because i know a lot of people suffer from it so but that was my way to try to help you all out so other than that you can go to the facebook page and go to the uh, visit group button that's at the top and that'll take you to the BS button beard bulletin board where you can post anything you would like to share with the community and we will read it on the show each week uh, it can be a competition that you have coming up or you and your club could be doing some really cool charity event or you know like going around picking up garbage in your town or donating your time doing something or that or it could be a friend's birthday you'd like to share, somebody important. So if you have something that you want to share with the community, go to the BS Buttons Beard Bulletin Board on Facebook. But uh, I guess other than that, let's uh, dive right into this uh, very informative episode. And once again, we apologize for all the names that we butchered in this. Uh, we are not professionals at all, so keep that in mind. But we did have fun and we hope you have fun listening to this too. So we will see you on the back end and here we go. And, and action. Talking Beards about. is live now. I see it right there. I got to go look at it right now. It says it's live on mine too. This is amazing. It worked. It's like space. Are you sure? The final frontier. Are you sure the show, the show is not live? The show is live. Talking Beards is live now. I see it. Look at that. Do you hear that? Look at it right I like to live dangerously since it's live on mine, too. Talking Beards is live. I like how it loops around when I tell it to play. Your face loops around. You know what else loops around? Loop de loops. Your face. Chris Odom, you're watching. I am watching. Oh this is amazing. Clinking Beard, he says, shh. So is DJ. I teach you. Yes, being Samuels joined us. Wow, it sounds like Chris is like 58 miles away. You told me to turn the mic down. I know, but you have to talk into your mic. <sighs> my, my 
mustache gets stuck in it. It's too far away. Your mommy's too far away. I know she is, but she lives right down the road. This, this moment of silence is brought to you by the Library Association of America. No, it's not. It's the Library of Congress. It's the Library of Congress. We should brought to you by Drew McNaughton, the world's tallest librarian. I'm going to start a watch party again. You're so rich. I know. Are you ready? There's 170,000. Two. One. Oh, hey. hey. We are talking beards. Live. The dang. Some it's, people think it's live, but it's really not. It's live. All these, all this for the past 21 episodes, we've gotten it. We've gotten it wrong. Yeah. You, you think it's live, but no, it is live. So what's up, guys? Oh, hey, we're here. We're here now. Live. Yeah, I've only traveled all these, about all this for the past million miles since we've last episode. It, we've but, got you know. It wrong. Yeah, I'm you, here. You My arms live, are, but no, arrested it now. is live. There's a lot. So what's up, guys? Hey, oh, we're, we're here. What? We're here. Yeah, I've only traveled about six okay. million anyway, miles since hey, last episode. I'm Aaron D. But, Johnston, you know. and we <laughs> I'm are here. talking beers live. So tonight we will go. Let's see. Go to Chris. Go ahead. (laughs) (laughs) My name's Chris Odom. I'm with Beards in Review. Uh, I have a YouTube channel where I post videos and all that other good stuff. And Scott. Hi, my name's Scott Sakura. As you can see, I'm from Chardon, Ohio. If you don't know where that is, you you look look on a map, you'll find out where it's at. But I am the Beardcaster. I do a podcast called The Beardcaster. You can go to thebeardcaster.com to find out more information. You can go over there and subscribe to it. It's pretty much this show. Well, but just the audio version. So uh, if by some chance you're watching this and you'd rather listen to it, you can go to the beardcaster.com and you can, there's players all over the place so you can check it out there. So, but uh, we're going to dive right into the first segment of the show, which is the BS buttons beard bulletin board. And I'm throwing it over to Chris. Back to Chris. All right. We got the BS bulletin boards and oh, I don't want to show that one yet. I know we're, uh, we're going to start with this one right here. Uh, This is uh, posted. uh, Scott shared this. This is from June 8, 2019, the Kalamazoo Parade of Whiskers at the Old Dog Tavern in uh, Kalamazoo. It's with the the Doodah Parade and the Facial Hair Competition. That's on June 8. Doodah, a doodah. Oh, the doodah day. And then uh, this one looks familiar, too. This is the 10th Annual Southeastern Beard and Mustache Championship. Hosted by the one and only Aaron. Hey, that's me. That's him. That's him. Or him now. He's up there. And uh, that was shared by Tyler Hill. Thanks, Tyler Hill, for sharing that. And Tyler Hill. That's what I said, Tyler Hill. He said Taylor. I said Tyler. I'm from Texas, so I talk like this sometimes. You're from Tyler Hill. Teja. Teja. That is correct. All right. And this is from Dennis Morgan. He shared an event. From the Bearded Sinners Beard Club, it's the Mark Nichman Memorial Poker Run. Uh, prizes for the top three hands. That's going to be on May 25th and 26th as well. Um, so uh, be sure to check it out. And now for some, this is kind of breaking news right here. This is some breaking news. Hot. Breaking news. <laughs> the 2023 World Beard and Mustache Championships is going to be in. Well, you see it on your screen right there. It's going to be. It will be in Bristol, England. <laughs> that is correct. Hashtag vote Wessex 2023, even though it's already voted. Yeah, but it's already been still, voted. Huh? Go, go vote for him anyway. Go vote anyway. Yeah. Andy Teague, he's an egg. That's his club. He's a speckled good he's egg. egg. He's a speckled good egg. So go to his. Go to his uh, competition there in 2023. Yeah, we got a lot of lot of people in the uh, chat room tonight. Uh, Four million people. I know. Jeez, it's like it's 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 crazy, 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 wide open. So tonight, uh, we we did the BS buttons beard bulletin board. Where we did a little bit of beard comps. I guess that's. I don't know if we have a whole lot of other beard comps we're really going to get into. But at the end of the show, we will do the Mudcat Whiskers trivia. But tonight, our main focus is going to be 
our breaking news subject subject uh not subject segment segment thank yes you. thank you for words bs buttons beer bulletin board beard comps trivia and then breaking news the 2019 world beard and mustache championships result show no i'd like to interject on this one because um throughout the whole weekend if if any of you had been paying attention to the talking beards uh page over the weekend we had been doing a bunch of live videos uh trying to follow along with what was going on and i i started a video uh Saturday morning and we got through the mustaches and part of the partial beards and then I had to cut off and then Chris came in shortly after that and continued the feed and uh, we tried to follow along and people were in the chat room with us and stuff and it was really cool because it was like we were interacting with you as this was going on and we got to see some of the results as they happened. But uh, as the weekend went on and we kind of drifted away from what was going on and and didn't exactly see who did what in what category, we were getting a lot of requests for like, well, where's the results? Who got what? What place did this person get? Did do we know who won this? And I mean, we had no information and it was it was actually kind of difficult to get that information. So when Aaron got back, I said, you know, we got to find out this information. Let's get it and let's get it fast so we can, you know, get it to the people. Unfortunately, we don't have like the placement of every single person that that participated um, at some point that those results will come out. So everyone will see how they did. But we were able to get the complete list of uh, circle beard guy, Anthony. Uh, but we were able to get the complete list of the top three finishers in all the categories from the weekend. So that's what we are going to be sharing with you. Yeah, so service was cell phone service was pretty bad and it was it was very busy so it was hard to keep everyone up to date in the talking beers world but we you know we got the top three of every category so you know that's that's not too bad no it's better than nothing and it's more than what is being shown out there right now too so well so you just want to jump right into it and well, we can get started? First of all, you need to explain where these little cool things that we're going to be displaying came from today. Oh, so we have uh, these fancy little deals with, you know, everyone's picture and I guess just the category listed on there. And Amari Amari from just south of France and the owner of Beardweiser Shop, and he came up with these. So, you know, I, I helped him get a few pictures together, and I gave him the compiled list that I was able to get, and we worked on them all day, and here they are. I mean, he, I think he did a real good job. So so we have a picture of pretty much everybody. There, There's a few people that you just, they don't have social media or whatever, and we weren't able to get their picture, but pretty much everybody has a picture. I know there's a couple typos, and I had already loaded all of them in here, and he has sent me, you know, the updated version. So we'll we'll try to post the the not typo ones in our social media. And we are gonna apologize because there are a lot of these names are gonna be butchered. Unfortunately, I mean that's just we don't know how to say a lot of them because they're you know. Americans. Yeah. So. Yeah. We're, we're <laughs> but we're going to give it a shot. Yeah. I speak, well, I speak English and Pig Latin. That's about it. So. Yeah. So. And Texan. Yeah. Tehaian. 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 Yeah. We got more people keep joining in. We're, we're getting a lot of people in here so far. Um, but yeah. So after. Go ahead, Chris. Yeah. I was going to say, I know there's a lot of people that are watching from Beard Team USA. We want to thank them for uh, sharing Talking Beards as well. Uh, remember, if you want to kind of interact, uh, with the, the chat that we can see is is coming from the, the Facebook uh, stream. So if you want to uh, talk to us directly, that's where we're going to see everything is on there. So yeah. but I just want to thank Beard Team USA for sharing that as well. Yeah. And then at the end of when we're done talking about this, don't forget to continue watching because we are going to be doing trivia at the end of the show presented by Mudcat Whiskers. Uh, if anyone's looking for stuff, we have a promo code. So you can go to mudcatwhiskers.com, enter the promo code Talking Beards, and you'll get 25% off your order plus, there you go, yep, Mudcat Whiskers, 
Plus, you will get a free bottle of their unreleased oil with your with your order. So make sure you go over there, check their stuff out. Talking Beards is the promo code. You'll get some cool stuff. So Evangeline oil. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, hey, just just asking anybody out there, did anybody check it out yet? Anybody take advantage of that 25% and get that uh, Evangeline? Just tell us how it smells, man. It sm- sounds pretty good. Look at this handsome guy down there. MJ Johnson, world he famous. Did he did it. He just did it. He, he just did, did it. He just did it. So, all right. So, are we ready to to start getting into this? I'm ready to go whenever you are. So, that was me. I'm ready. That was like a <laughs> fireworks. Okay. So, who's going to start this off? Chris, you start. No, we're, we're, we're doing. doing? Uh, no, Scott's doing Scott the Scott uh, Sakura and uh, one with the women. Okay, so we're going to go with the women's first here. So, uh. We had the uh, the first category, which was on Friday evening, was the ladies' creative mustache, and uh, coming in first place was uh, Sarah Schoenwolf. Second place was Susan Spencer, and three was Kate Crawford, who I learned was from Chicago. That's all I know. Chicago, Chicago, which in November all is right. the and... in November is the uh, national championship. So. We can go on to the next one. You like that? Like that shirt? The uh, um, ladies' realistic mustache category. We had uh, number one was Muge Met, I believe it's pronounced. Uh, two was Melissa Fette or Fett? Fetty. 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 Is that Patrick's wife? That is Patrick's wife. Oh. Awesome. Oh yeah. And it's definitely Fetty. Yes, Fetty. And then number three was. Angela Alba DeRico from the Austin Facial Hair Club. It's actually pronounced Alba DeRocco. Oh, sorry. It's like the Sriracha DeRocco. Yeah, but, but Rocco. Oh. Like modern life. But, oh. You know. <laughs> yes. Tony's wife, which Tony is now a new member of the Team Goatee. He is. He looks so good. Scott, you're frozen. But go ahead. You're behind the picture now, so it I doesn't know. matter. I know. You don't need me. Uh, so then we go into the ladies' creative beard category, uh, which goes to our number one, don't you know who she is, Alice Jelly. Congratulations to her. Don't you know her. who I am? That, that was Alice. Yeah. I know. She she sent me a nice message, which was nice. So, But yeah, she is a two-time champion for that. Um, number two is Aslan Gutierrez. And number yes. three was Tisha Clinkenbeard, wife of uh, a Clinkenbeard guy we know. Yeah, they don't have mustaches in that family, apparently. I know. I know, it's so weird. I know. I don't know well, why. I don't know. Why because would anyone? I guess. My co- why would you not want to have a mustache? Yeah, I don't understand. Like, it doesn't make sense. What's so like awesome about their house? They're like, oh, no mustaches for both of us. Oh, we're going to eat soup with no problem. I know. I'm going to eat an ice cream cone, and it's not going to get in my mustache. That's probably about the, like what they talk about. All the time. Yeah. Uh, that, every time I hung out with them all weekend, that's all they were talking about. Like, oh, check me out. I can eat an ice cream cone. We save money because we don't have to buy mustache wax. Yeah. Tyler Hill says, Whaler Nation. <laughs> Whale lips. <laughs> get out of here, Tyler Hill. Yeah, Tyler. All right, there you go. All right. And then our last ladies category was the ladies realistic beard. Uh, number one went to Christine A. Hackman, no relation to Jean. Number two. That's what you think. Oh, she could be. Granddaughter, for all we know. Uh, we'll have to find that one out. Uh, number two was Alexa Hall. And number three was Karina Barish. So congratulations. Congratulations, ladies. Yeah. Congratulations, ladies. Yeah, there weren't. I was really surprised at the amount of women that were there. But I mean, I guess, like we were saying on the last episode, that this is the second time this has been uh, displayed at a world's competition. The last time was in 2017 at the Austin uh, World's Beard and Mustache uh, Championship. And there was definitely a lot more women that were there. But as we all know, it's more of an American thing. So, you know, there were, I don't, I don't even know how many, how many of the, uh, were non-American that were in the women's categories, Aaron, since you were that, that you like really know. I mean, but. It, I don't really know, but it was, it was definitely mostly United States competitors, but it wasn't all just United States competitors. So, but I would say 
easily 75% was United States. Yeah, just uh, for some odd reason, it's it doesn't it's not carrying over into the European side of the comp the competing world. But I mean, let's give it a few years; it'll it'll it's, start it's, growing. It's getting there. It's getting there. So, all right. So the next categories we're going to start talking about are the mustache categories. So, Aaron, why don't you give us a uh, give us a lowdown on what went on in the mustache categories? So in the natural mustache category, Mo- yeah, mustache. If you watch mustache. the live feed. Ah. <laughs> Here we go. So number one was Wolfgang Schneider, pretty much one of the biggest mustaches in the freaking world. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, number two is Midas Kiss. No relation he, to the band? Uh, no, he's actually uh, a client. Oh. So, or Gene, whatever. Gene Simmons owns him. He's probably. Yeah, he does. He's probably what? I don't know. Oh, that was it? Yeah. I said Gene Simmons probably owns them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> and uh, you got Rolf Huber. He's from Czechoslovakia. That, yeah. It was he came all over the world. It's like it was like the world championship or something. I remember seeing him in America. Did America. you? In Teha. Teha. All right. And now let's see. In the English mustache category, we have four time world champion from Louisville, Kentucky. Where was Patrick that? Patrick Fetty. Where what? was he from? Louisville. You mean Louisville? No. That is incorrect. It's Louisville. It's like you're throwing up when you say it. Ooh, like Louisville. Wolfgang is a six time world champion. Wow. Well, there you go. Right. Wolfgang Schneider, six time world champion. Thank you, Sean Logie. And uh, number two, Bernard Hillebrand. And number three, Sean Four, also from the United States. Sean Four was number three. Number three. And in the Dolly Moustache category, you have Russell Bristow, Nathan Wilson, United States. Yeah. And number three, we have Max Pankow. Yeah, so Nathan was the number one in Austin, so he won the world, so he got knocked out. So yeah. Russell was really excited though. I remember watching Dude, he that. was freaking yeah, pumped. He was he was super jacked. Thank you. Thank you. John Logan. And uh we have the Imperial mustache category. Eugene Hip. Wait, Imperial. Okay, let's make sure I was right. Frank. No, no that's not right. Wing, no, mm-hmm. something's not. Um, so I just did the wrong one. Apparently, Hungarian. We should be. Yeah. So I loaded the wrong one. Oh, that's Sorry. all right. So we yeah. can just so, we just tell people who they are. Yeah. So number one, we had Eugene Hip. Number two, Frank. Weingand? I think it's Weigand. Weigand? There we go. And Mark Andrew. Sorry, the Imperial people. I loaded the wrong picture, apparently. And Hungarian mustache. Mmm. Zolt. <laughs> Jerome. <laughs> Zolt. Nope. He's number one. Yeah. He's number one, though. Good job, him. <laughs> uh, Rainer French. And number three, Bruce Rowe. From USA. From the USA. And freestyle. Yeah. Uh, oh, see, so that's not Whoop. There we go. Freestyle. We know this guy. Mustache, and we have lost Scott Sakura apparently. Here. And number three, who? Eddie Vander Schuren. Sorry, that sounded know, good to me. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I know I messed that up. But congratulations, guys! Y'all are. Uh, Did you see that hat that Jeffrey was wearing? He made that. He's a haberdasher. Dude, that hat was freaking sweet. Wasn't it? Yeah, it, it's super cool. He makes his own clothes. It's like so cool. 
time world champion Wolfgang Survey. Survey. And then number two, Patrick Dawson. This is for the natural goatee. Sorry, I didn't say that. Natural goatee. Patrick Dawson was number number two uh, from the USA. And then number three is Hans Un- Unvricht. How, how is, that, is that all right? That sounds, Hans, yeah. Un- Nailed it. Unvricht. Natural goatee. All right. And then uh, next up, we have the... Was it? We're the, so uh, good at this pronunciation. Know, yeah. We dig it. Mm-hmm. We got the Chinese mustache. Why is Chinese mustache in? I guess because it hangs down. We talked about that, right? It, like it's kind of like a beard, sort of. Yeah, I think it's really. just Fu Manchu. Yeah, yeah Fu Manchu. Chinese mustache. All right, number one was uh, Lutz Geis. And number two is Patrick Langley, who was he's had he's had, he has like three titles so far. He had number one. He's also from Teja. That's right. He's not only from Teja, but from Austin, Texas. Austin, Teja. Yep. Number three, we got David Benson, also from the USA. That is your Chinese mustache. And then we have the Musketeer, three point musketeer. Mouseketeer. <laughs> Mouse get here. Yeah, this this was one of the typos. But... Mouse eater. Mouse eater. <laughs> when we make the post with all the pictures, it'll it'll be correct. <laughs> I like it. Mouse Keeter for number one. We've got uh Erwin Butch. And number two is Young Beeland. And number three, Andrew Perry from the UK. They all right. Now we have Imperial. 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 Number one, Giles Pol- Polenin. Sorry if I screwed that up. I probably did. Polenin. Uh, number two, we've got, oh yeah, Luke Dirk, Dirks. Luke Dirks. That sounds good. He was he was one of the representatives from the snoring club, and this was probably one of the happiest, jolliest dudes I've ever met in my whole life. Like he, he, he was, was so happy. excited all freaking weekend. He he was absolutely a delight to be around all weekend. Mm-hmm. Like he was so excited to have us all there. <laughs> That's cool. Number three, <laughs> Mimit Mitt. Mitt. Do you, Mitt. Do you see uh, this? Logie, Logie took German for six years. <laughs> yeah, for Chris. Yeah, I told you, man. I speak pig Latin. <laughs> That's about it. Yeah, as we said, we're we're not uh, fluent in the uh, the other languages. So you know, thank yeah. you for you know, I, we 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 mean no disrespect with you know mispronunciation. Oh my lord, mispronunciation of these names. I can't even talk. We're giving it a shot, though. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, let's see you do yeah. this. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That Mehmet Met guy that he, he we met him at the uh, Great American. Who he was there? It was pretty cool. Oh yeah, yeah. All, All right. right, here we go. We've got the sideburns natural. Number one, Michael Wallage. And number two, we've got Paul Card. And number three, Patrick Quinn. Never heard of him. Yeah, that guy. We don't know who these guys are. Yeah, so Patrick Quinn, as as long as everything goes correctly, he should be our guest on next week's show. He he had a very exciting and story filled adventure to uh, Antwerp this weekend. So yeah, I can't wait to hear that. Yeah, hopefully hopefully it all works out next Tuesday. Patrick Quinn will be our guest. So cool. Go ahead. All right, number. Oh, let's see, Alaskan Whaler. Uh, all right, this is number one. Was Luke Sumper? He's got a mustache in that picture. Doesn't count. I, yeah, I know, right? Well, I was like, kind of threw me off there for a second. Yeah, number that... two is Jason Hall, and number three is Robert Mevick. Yeah, USA swept this category. You know, US, yeah, congr- yeah, congratulations! Like, awesome, Robert Mavick, one of our biggest fans, biggest supporters, and you know. He th- Congratulations. Well, congratulations to one of like my good friends, Luke, too. Like that yeah, was Luke Sumner freaking showed up and he had the dumbest looking goatee. 
Yeah, I know. Thank it God just he didn't make up. any sense. I know. Then he was like, <laughs> we were like, like, dude, just shave it off. And he shaved his mustache off and look what happened. He, you know, I think he made the right decision. We bullied him because I don't think he would have placed in goatee because there was a, it seemed like it was a white beard category for the goatees. Yeah, mm-hmm. Logie asks if the Whaler was the only USA sweep. I think that is I, true. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's true. The, yeah. We we had some people spread out throughout, but I think I'm 99% sure that was the only category that was all U.S. What, what, were, there, anyway. were there other like foreign competitors in that? Yes, there was. Yeah, yeah, there was. It I was, was but that stream. Yeah, there was. It was majority U.S. There in that was category. No though. Canadians in that one. Sorry. Sorry. Any Alaskans? That's uh, United States boner. Yeah. Boner. <laughs> I know, but being from Alaska, it would kind of make sense. All right. I don't know. <laughs> I don't think so. Anyway, so we got, uh, we got more in this category. Four, Whoop. We got partial beard freestyle. Number one, Dieter, Dieter Busic. Busic. I probably screwed that up. And then we got number two, Anthony Cardi. And I'm pretty sure Anthony's watching, so congratulations, Anthony. Yeah, he yeah, was, he was yeah. also excited, too. Super excited. Yeah. Anthony had a pretty good story with, with his uh, his trip as well. <laughs> and then number three is Norbert Toff. He's his, that picture looks pretty cool there. So Yeah, it was he's pretty like, much like that, but it was slicker. He's like, look at me. Look at I'm pointing at you. And that's all your partial beards results. Congratulations, partial beards. Now, like next it. up, we have Scott. I like this. DG was correcting us. It's Sumter, not Sumper. Well, you know what? Yeah, we can, I know. We can pronounce the American names wrongs, too. We can't be perfect all the time. It was on the teleprompter. <laughs> Stay classy, San Diego. Look at this guy. Look at this guy right there. Anthony. And he joins us. I'm Ron Burgundy. No, you're I'm not. I'm Ron Burgundy? I'm Ron Burgundy. Put a question mark that, on that that's teleprompter. <laughs> All right, Scott Sikor, are you right, ready for so the full beard? Yeah, here we go. Here's here's where all the butchering really goes on. No, you got this. Go ahead. All right, so we start off with the ver, Verdi. Ver, I pronounced that wrong. The Verdi. Uh, all right, so number one went to Gulame Renolf. Sounds good. Uh, number two, Carl Ruse. And three, Johan Caton. Congratulations, guys. I like that French. That was Francaise. That, that was pretty good. Oui, oui. I, I, I thought you were French there for a minute. You did. For sure. I know. Was it? French fry. You French fry. Up, Chris. French toast. Chris fry. All right. So the next we had was the Garibaldi. What the tuck? Whoa. Okay. Franz Peel was number one. He looks like the captain of a boat. These guys all look like captains of boats. Yeah, they drove. They all drove boats to the competition. It was the craziest thing. It was like all the Garibaldi guys drove boats. Outside the front of the building, there was like boats parked up mm-hmm. there. Yep, right through the street. Uh, Anton Ryman, number two, and Dennis Zen for number three. wonder what kind of boat he drove. Uh, boats and hose. Jet ski. He looks like a... A plane, plane boat. He looks like a jet ski bike or boat guy. You look like a jet ski boat. You know what? what? I didn't call you a jet ski. Okay, so but I called you a jet ski. Always. So yeah, well, I don't know what to tell you. That's rude. Wow. You get Your back. Face is rude. You know, you go, you go overseas, and you come back with this all jet ski attitude. I know it's what it. It was. It's Belgium. I'm sorry. It's all the waffles. I mean, it was all the sprouts you ate, turning a real jerk. Yeah. Waffles and McDonald's. That's what I ate all weekend. <laughs> <laughs> McDonald's. Okay. Royale with cheese. That's France. No, I really had a Royale with cheese. Is that what, two of them. That's the way it was displayed on the menu? Yes. Why, why did they call it Royale with cheese? Uh, Because they don't do pounds there, so it's not like quarter pounder. It's so they had the metric system. Oh, yeah, because of that. I tucked a mean tugboat. L O L. What does that mean? 
What does that mean, Melissa LaRoe? <laughs> All right. Metrics. Oh, metrics. Metric system, according to Josh Barney. In his- Thank you, Josh Barney, of making our best in show trophy fame. Yes. All right, here we go. Natural okay. full beard, Natural. under 30 centimeters. Okay, number one was Anatoly Ivanov. Wow, that sounds like a real Russian name. Yeah. He's from I New Zealand. He, yeah, he was a New Zealand guy. Wow. Speaking yeah, was, of New Zealand. Hey, speaking of New Zealand, hold on. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll minimize this. Yeah. What? How do I make myself big real quick? There we go. <laughs> I can, oh. The world. New Zealand, 2021. Look at that. There we go. Ooh, Ooh that guy has a beard. He's in he the does. sunshine. He's planking. What? You're you're planking. You're a planking. <laughs> you're a planking. Anyway, yeah. World Beard Mustache Championships 2021. I think it's March. Yeah. Auckland, New Zealand. March 2021. Be there or be square. Okay. Okay. Anyway. Number, number two. Bjorn Your Hayden. I like that. Your Hayden. Your Hayden. You should change your name to Bjorn. I should. I would be you a look good like Bjorn. A Bjorn. And uh, number three was Cole Mengeti. 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 But he was from the United States. Oh. <laughs> How do I make myself big quick? Says Ben Samuels of Ben Samuels BS Buttons. According to Josh okay. Barney, it's Little Blue Pills. Oh, yep. There it is. Little blue pills make you Look, big quick. I am a baby Bjorn. <laughs> what? What's that? I hear there's a pump for that, Aaron. I don't know what you're talking about. Like for Gasoline. your tires? Yes. Like. Oh, yeah. You can pump up your tires real quick with an air pump, Ben. BS buttons. Oh, Cole's from uh, San Francisco. He's a treat. San Francisco treat. Ding, ding. ding. <laughs> Natural beard, Ooh. plus 30 centimeters. And just so y'all know, 30 centimeters, that's like 12 inches. That is like, it's like 12 inches or it is? Yeah, so, no, it's like like 12 inches. So it's 11.8 inches, I believe, is what it came to. Something like that. But it's not exactly 12 inches. So it's like 12 inches. So number one was Fabrizio Botos. Fabrizio. 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 Number two was Luke Tuttle or Tatle. Tatle. If, he was, if he was Tatle. from if he was from France, it'd be Tatle. And Madison Rowley for three. <laughs> Madison Rowley. So yeah, so right before the national competition in Chicago, maybe a week or two, I believe Madison will be our guest and we will talk about his uh shaving event that he has still been going on so he didn't raise enough money to shave before worlds so there's still time to donate money to madison's cause and make him go chops thank you Uh oh amanda has a secret crush on madison it's not a secret anymore <laughs> no, michael it is not <laughs> speaking of forty two thousand which... <laughs> people know all about it now that is correct forty two thousand oh see look she says it's no secret oh see that's really funny because I did the same thing when uh, I went to Worlds and I met him uh, two years ago and I went up to him and said, excuse me, sir, can I take a picture with me and you? My wife really thinks you're hot. He's and, a good looking guy. And he just looked at me like, that's weird. And then I snapped the picture <laughs> and I a- ran really fast. <laughs> did he catch you? Yeah, he did. Now I'm not married he, anymore. Do you do? <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't be funny if it wasn't true. Uh, I know. Uh, what did anyway, I take a picture of? On that oh. note, yeah. On this that is, note, this was this was my favorite category of the night. I, I bawled like a little baby when this happened. Just so y'all know. Uh-oh. Oh, World man. champion he Andrew Claus, Jersey boy, is a world champion. Yes, that is all. Look, Look how go ahead. Good, he looks. No, that's all right. Number he looks so freaking good. 
I'm so yeah, I'm very proud of him. I'm so happy for him. He I mean, he's worked so hard to get that beard. I'm so glad he didn't do goatee. He's been threatening us for months that he's gonna shave to goatee. And I'm I'm glad he didn't because Yeah, you know, he did it. He won his freaking world title, so he can get back to having a job now. I know. So yeah, number <laughs> number two, uh Lee Andrews. No he real, did have a hat on. He did. <laughs> Lee did or or Lee? No. Oh. Claus. He's Andrew Claus. He has to have a hat. I know he does. Lee <sighs> number two is Lee Andrews, no relation to Julie. And uh number three, Tibor Vana. He... And I'd also like to reach out and thank Lee for making that cool little video we posted on Facebook earlier today. Yeah, that was really cool. Yeah, so if any of you guys uh, happen to uh, see, Aaron did a, a live Facebook video on Sunday morning, and uh, he was it was after the parade, and uh, he did a live video where he was walking around talking to a bunch of people, and uh, it's really funny video. It just there's so much really funny stuff in there. I think it was about 20 minutes long. You know, do yourself a favor and and go back over and uh, um watch that that video because there's a lot of we'll we'll pull some stuff out if we can and we'll show it at a later date but there was some funny stuff yeah, in there it, it was it was pretty funny but right before i made that video me shannon click and beard my uh cameraman and mj johnson we walked through the parade of the streets of antwerp and I think it was probably about an hour and 45 minutes. We just recorded the entire time. Uh, I had a camcorder, my microphone, and I watched it last night with Natalie after we got home. And it's it's really good. So hopefully we'll we'll get it all edited and we'll get it on some sort of social media at some point in time. And we can all watch it. And I don't know. It's It's got a lot of good parts in it. So it's pretty funny. It doesn't have me in it, so how could it really have a lot of good parts? A lot of people were talking about you in it, though. Yeah, how about they were like, eh, he's okay. Basically, it's what people were saying. That's where the uh, Andy is an egg thing was born. And I also interviewed, I had a very exclusive interview with Colin the Cactus. What? Oh, yeah. Breaking news. I interviewed Colin the Cactus during the World Beard and Mustache Championships Parade. Thank you. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my land. What is this? So, Tell this story. Uh, oh, yeah. So we almost got arrested uh, multiple times. So apparently it's illegal to walk backwards <laughs> in a parade in Belgium. And it's also for real, like, hey. Not a joke, but for real, uh, illegal to put stickers on poles. Whoa. So um, I went through probably 40 stickers this weekend, putting them on poles. I Everywhere we went, there was just tons of stickers on poles and boxes and walls and everything. So I was just sticking my sticker everywhere. And we were doing it during the parade. And behind us, we had a police escort in the parade. And so later on. When we got to the after party thing at the end of the parade, I interviewed a cop, which there was two cops I interviewed multiple times during the parade, which also possibly could have got me arrested. And yeah, so she's I straight up asked her, you know, was it illegal to put stickers on stuff? And she said, yes, it is illegal to put stickers on stuff. I was like, oh, did she take you, there did she take you to the ground and like mm. really like right in the back of the head? No, that one was pretty nice about stuff. Uh, I also interviewed her while she was riding in the passenger seat of the car, was and she I asked hot? her. Like, I mean, she she wasn't a ugly lady, but oh. I would not necessarily say she was hot. So you were to try to like hook us up. Yeah, you, you could definitely go hook up with this this cop that was in Antwerp. But yeah, so I interviewed her in the car while she was a passenger, and was asking her how fast the car would go and stuff like that, and she. She wasn't very responsive, but um, the other cop, I think maybe that potentially would have really arrested me. She didn't really want to get interviewed and we had to chase her a couple of times and she told me to stop stalking her. And that was, that was a pretty good time, but that was the same cop that me and Shannon were walking in the street 
and she blew her whistle at us and told us to get back in line. So, whoa, they're very like strict about parades over there. Uh, that one cop was really strict. The one that uh, told me to stop stalking her, but it's like parade yeah, dude, police. It, they were literally parade police. <laughs> Uh, what else happened during the parade? I got kissed by a man. That was that was pretty fun. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It, it was wild. The, so yeah, an hour and forty five minutes ish video that we will post soon. But I've got the tenth annual Southeastern Beard and Mustache Championships this weekend, and I'm still got a few things to do. So I doubt I will get all the editing done tomorrow. So hopefully we'll get it done soon and get it up online. Anyway, all right, we got to get to the uh, full beard freestyle. My bad. And here's one last category. Okay, so taking first in this one was Han Peter Weiss. Arnie was number two, and Gary Faulkner was number three. Our good old boy Gary from Ohio. Gary Faulkner. Yeah, so... Uh, Americans. <laughs> yeah, Gary Faulkner. He uh, he was fun to interview during the parade, too. We did, Actually, we got a fun interview with him in Richmond. Uh, him and his wife, actually. It was really funny. We were talking about beer. Um, at some point, that'll get up, too, because we have a ton. Of, actually, we have... <laughs> between the three of us we have a ton of like videos that we could be putting into the show so just make sure you're watching you know make sure you're subscribed to, to talking beards because we're we're going to be having tons of stuff you know over the next few months i mean uh there you go kissed by a man sounds like a successful wait sorry <clears throat> there you go kissed by a man sounds like a successful weekend <laughs> That's exactly what <laughs> Melissa Rowe sounds like. <laughs> hey, hey, hey guys, I got to break in. I got my own breaking news. Uh -oh. I got to. Uh -oh. I got to go rescue uh, my daughter. Okay. I, I got to go. So okay. sorry. Guys. Okay. Uh, have fun. Okay. With you and Mudcat Whiskers. See you later, right, Christopher. Guys. Okay. Bye. Oh All hey right. hey oh, hey! Us. You look so good. Oh, you look so good. So yeah, so. Now what? You always want to keep carrying on? And you want to talk about the parade some more? Well, we how about this? Let's more? ask the people in the chat room. What would they like? Would they like to talk more about the? Well, we have to. There's one more category we have to do. What? Best in show. I didn't load it. Oh. I didn't load it. Okay, we don't do. We even... it was it was the uh, it was the imperial mustache guy. I can I can try to get it loaded real quick. Oh, that's all right. The imperial mustache. Uh, Eugene Hip was best in show. Yeah, for the men and best in show women was the realistic mustache chick. I think she was from Germany. Super nice girl. You're super but nice. I lost that paper. And I'm back. Um, she was realistic stash. Yeah, I don't have her up anymore. Sorry, but she won, and she had a difficult name to say. So now what? Well, all right, I was going to ask the people in the chat room um, if they we, we can go one of two ways here. We can do trivia, or we can talk to Aaron a little bit more about his uh, uh, journey over to uh, Antwerp and his whole experience over there. So uh, start entering in the chat what do you want if we want do we want trivia or do we want to talk to aaron do we want trivia or aaron those are your two choices hopefully so, you have a bunch of questions to ask yeah if you have questions we can ask aaron questions or you could yeah trivia Josh barney. barney wants trivia chris aaron. toth wants aaron who doesn't want aaron exactly look at that goatee <laughs> melissa wants cardi We want talking butts. Talking butts. All right. It's, it's oh. <laughs> trivia on Aaron's trip. <laughs> I, I don't have that written. Well, groomed goon I, wants I, both. Hmm. I mean, what's up, groomed goon? So we can try. We'll we'll, we'll see see what happens. So, yeah. I mean, overall. It was a very su successful weekend. 
uh, Natalie and I got there on Thursday morning. I think we landed at 9 a.m. in Brussels. We got on a train and everything was not in English. And buying train tickets was difficult. You uh, should have called Chris. We we figured it out. We just you know went to a little kiosk thing, put the credit card in, and hit started hitting buttons. We found one that said Antwerp, and we bought those tickets, and went to town. And we got into Antwerp, and I think we got there at eleven ish. Walked around. We saw a couple bearded people that we didn't know, and I don't I don't even know if I saw them again over the weekend, but I think. They're from Philadelphia, maybe. Um, then we walked with our extremely large luggage down the not smooth sidewalks. Are they and then we cobblestone? Went, cobblestone. That's yeah. the word you were and looking for. That That's exactly what I was looking for. And then we went to McDonald's to use the bathroom. And that's where we learned that you have to pay to use the bathroom in Antwerp. How many euros so every, was it? Uh, it was fifty cents. I don't know what the the euro cents are called. Half a euro. Did it have like that cucumber sauce on it that everyone yeah. loves? Uh huh. All over the place. Uh, let's see. So then we left the bathroom and then we ran into. Did you wash your hands? Yes. Okay. So Can they continue. so you have to pay for the bathroom there, but it's like unisex and there's a bathroom attendant even at mcdonald's but it was really clean did you shave and put cologne on no oh it's not that kind of uh attendant oh they it's just a, they wipe off. off the toilet yeah Ooh. and stuff yeah, i mean super clean bathroom though so that was pretty neat oh <sighs> they charge by the pound half a pound you're stupid shannon um what else? Well, okay, so you left what McDonald's. Else? You left McDonald's. Oh, yeah, then we saw Eddie Kimmerling walking the streets. And then that was pretty neat, you know, being that far away and running into people, you know. Mm, on the, Oh, on the plane, we saw Aaron Is. Does anybody watch Ink Master? He, he's from Florida. Is he a printer? Uh, No, he's a tattoo guy. Oh, so Natalie saw him in the airport, and I didn't know who he was because I only watched a few episodes here and there. But she super watches it, and she saw him and went and took a picture with him. And then we ended up on the same flight there and ended up on the same flight home. And in between the trip, we chatted on Instagram. <laughs> so we became best friends. Wow. The end. Yeah, pretty cool. He's got a couple of my stickers and a Talking Beards flyer, and he said he's going to check out the show. And I have a couple of his stickers and buttons. And if we're ever in Clearwater, Florida, he wants us to come to his tattoo shop. And I invited him to the 10th Annual Southeastern Beard and Mustache Championships in Charleston, South Carolina next weekend, this upcoming weekend. But he was busy. I'm so. not going to be there either. We're hanging out that weekend, so I can't go. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. But what else? Let's see. Then we got in our Airbnb, and that was really, really nice. And hung out. I don't know. I don't even know. I don't remember what we did after that. That was Thursday. Then it kind of got blank because we were super tired. Do you have any specific questions? Or am I just going to ramble about my entire trip? No. Okay. Then. <laughs> All right. So then let's talk about them. Let's dive into Friday then. So Friday, uh, you guys, I mean, you obviously, Natalie needed to prepare um, yes. and get her, her stuff all ready. And I saw you were with Alice. Yeah. Don't you know who she is? No. Who? She's Alice. Oh. So let's see. Friday morning, uh, I was staying in an Airbnb with Andy Teague and Becca Teague, and they had a Wessex Beardsman uh, meeting that morning. So... When we travel internationally, we claim that we're Wessex. So we tagged along to, you know, our club. Not really. But, you know, we, we tagged along with them, and I recorded probably 15 minutes on my, was it my Zoom H1? Yeah. X-N-P. R5-3000. R5-3000, yeah. 
anyway, whatever my new little recorder was that I was going to record a bunch for Beardcaster that I didn't do. And uh, <laughs> this was pretty much the only time that I used it, but it worked really well. <laughs> they sh- they shaved the best part of their beard off. Is that is that what we're saying? I don't know. Yeah, Shave pretty much. I think he wants to know like chopped. how it was hanging out with people who shaved the best parts of their beards off. Like, I mean, it's pretty much the the same as it is here. You just got to tell them that they shave the best part of their beard off. And Natalie's from Canada now. But okay, now if they really shave the best part, now isn't everything backwards over there? No, this is in Australia. Oh, that's right. I was thinking they drive on the wrong side of the road. They grow hair no, on not the wrong there. side of their face. That's just England. Oh. England and Australia, I think, is it. Like, everybody else drive. No, I guess Japan, too. But, like, yeah, England drives on the wrong side of the road, not not Belgium. See, here we go. Brian Karn wow. wants to know wow. who the F is Alice. This is great. Don't you know who she is? You oh, don't? Oh, my God. Well. He's angry. I know he is. Got up to 48 viewers. Yeah, so we got up to 48,000 viewers. Chops are the new goatee? No. <laughs> In 20, That's stupid, 20, John. 2023. He, he, or 2021. Yeah. N- neither. You're, they're both wrong. Okay, so you guys were hanging out with the West Sexers, which... Yeah, why don't so, you, so we... Why don't you... Because if someone was not here at the beginning of the show when we did the breaking news, why don't you share with people at the end of the show here what the breaking news was? Uh, I had a flyer. So in 2023, if you did not catch it earlier. When cars will fly. Cars will fly in the 2023 World Beard and Mustache Championships will be brought to you by the Wessex Beardsman. In Bristol, England, not Tennessee. Oh, it's this one. <laughs> Very See, there's cool. like a br- it's. I guess they uh, they have the hot, hot air, air balloon, balloon championship. Festival. Yeah, of the world. Well, so what you're saying is not only are they they're going to be each person is going to get their own individual hot air balloon that they are going to fly into the air, and you're going to be right. judged on the color of the balloon in correspondence with your beard. And your style. Right. And and how high you can go to. Yeah. Like you have to go the highest hot air balloon. So if you can go to space, you can pretty much win. I know. Hey, Cliff's here. He says, hello, guys. What's up, Cliff? He is the, oh, man, I'm going to mess this up. A peasy Dinopoly in Aiken, South Carolina. Whoa. It's a, yeah, it's a pizza place and it's real Italian pizza. Like, so it's not like American pizza. So it's kind of soggy. Like the, the like, crust, like you have to eat it with a fork and a knife. Oh, so when you I come, when I up. come down there, I have to eat that. Yeah. It's the, cl- it is literally the closest restaurant to my house. Really? And he is the owner. Yeah. Super nice. Freaking dude. Super, super nice. So he likes pretty to freak good. out all the time. <laughs> pretty good. Pretty no, good. it is amazing. It is amazing. Amazing pizza. And I'm not just saying that it's really, really good. So, yeah. So yeah, Friday night we did the, World Beard and Mustache Championships Whiskerina categories, and that was a lot of fun. What else happened? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Friday night, and then we left, and then we went to sleep to wake up early Saturday. And then you got ready. I saw that nice picture you posted uh, of you on your balcony getting ready. Yeah. Yeah, so there was also a picture posted earlier. I was stretching, standing on the, like, railing of our balcony on the 11th floor and becca said i was doing morning yoga and tagged me in it and made me laugh but yeah that was earlier hello gentlemen waiting for my connection and so yeah i did my morning yoga and then i took a shower got ready and then i stood on the balcony and took a picture and it was a good time yeah so robert mavek is apparently still in route back to the united states it sounds like so where are you at robert yeah where are you at but what up? time is it where you are, says Sean Logie? It's the time that it is. That's not a deep question. Hmm. Cleveland, Ohio for the next world comp. Yeah, so the earliest you could get it would be 2025, and nope. you would have to go to Auckland, New Zealand to bid for it. Yep. 
And if another American team gets it and it's in their city, then we're going to have to wait till 29. 2029. Yeah, 2020. So 10 years from now would be the soonest we could get it in Cleveland. Oh, he's in Detroit. Oh, hey, he should. They, two of them should get together. Logie and uh, maybe. Yeah, so. Logie and Robert. Y'all, y'all should kiss. Yeah. Yeah. But Gene and Simmons owns that. It. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so what else? That was well, Friday night. Yeah, and then so Saturday. Getting ready the for comp. the competition. So you get to the venue and you're getting ready for your category. And, you know, and you're I meeting. brush my beard for two hours. That's the trick, man. That's what I see. Look, my brush is right here waiting to go. It apparently was not the trick, though. You needed to, you needed <laughs> not to, this time. Well, we don't really need I to. I needed to brush for three hours. Yeah. Th- that was the trick. Well, that's why I brush mm-hmm. so much. Mm-hmm. But you, uh dude, you freaking you probably really would have beat me. Like your your coloring and the shorter besides Patrick Dawson, apparently they the judges really liked a shorter goatee. And you've you've got a lot of white in there because you're so old. And <laughs> I'm part European, you, uh, man. Part European. Yeah. You like as much as we joked about it and said that you didn't want to go or I didn't want you to go because you would beat me, you probably really would have beat me. Like really, I'm, really you you potentially get a one do you know I mean, how horrible i would have felt if i would have placed <laughs> higher than you like i would have just i would have left i would have been like nope. why that's that would have been awesome i'd have been happy for you yeah like, but i, I really have. wasn't like i was i was bummed i didn't place just like you know i i would have been cool getting third but i really wasn't as upset as i thought i was gonna be like i was bummed like i don't like losing but i wasn't distraught like it was it was just cool being there. Like yeah. I was really happy being there. The whole thing was cool. Like it just got me pumped up for twenty twenty one more. Really, honestly. Well, so. I but I and I could just see your general overall like enthusiasm. Like even after that, you know, like sometimes some people could just be like all like uh, you know kind of stuck in a rut because you know I mean it's it sucks. I mean you're a world champion and you got knocked down and you know but there's but other, I'll get up again. Yeah. Never going to keep me down. You'll get knocked down. But I'll get up again. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you're such a tub thumper. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, oh. so, I mean, Saturday, dude, we could talk about Saturday, literally an entire episode. So, I mean, it, there was just so much going on. So much. 55,000 like, viewers tonight. Look we got that. up to 56,000 oh, for yeah. a second. Yeah. But, so, uh, yeah. So, but like I said, you know, sometimes you can get like discouraged and all bummed out, but I mean, you're in a totally different country you're around people you haven't seen in a while. I mean, and to, and to hear all the accolades for like all this stuff that we've been doing, which was really, that was really, really a cool thing. Like, as you know, you called me from over there, which I thought was like really cool. Cause I'm like, wow, you must've really wanted to talk to me. I and, did. So, yeah. So, oh, yeah. I called you after I did that interview. So, I did an interview with a TV show from a guy from Croatia. And it's going to be internationally, like, they'll they'll sell it like to syndicated. different markets or whatever. It's syndicated. There you go. So, it's called the World's Greatest uh, Festivals. And so, yeah. So, I did an interview with him. Gary did an interview with him. And I'm going to look stupid because I said that I I felt like the goatee category was going to come down between me and Patrick Dawson. And then, you know, Patrick Dawson got second and I did not. I got fourth, I guess. I don't know. It hasn't been posted yet. But <laughs> Aaron's big in Croatia. I'm going to be huge in Croatia, apparently. So this this is the second season of this show. It's going to come out in October. And it. It uh, He goes to different festivals, right? So this episode, it's an hour long. The other half of this episode is going to be about the mullet competition in Australia. So it's going to be like a hair episode. And the weekend before he was in Belgium to interview us about the World Beard and Mustache Championships, he was in Owensboro, Kentucky at the International Barbecue Festival, which is really crazy because Natalie was born in Owensboro, and that's where we – met was in Owensboro, Kentucky. And that's where he was the weekend before Worlds. Pretty crazy. 
but yeah, so that's why I called you because I was super excited about that interview thing. Well, but then it was also cool because you were like, you know, excited too that everyone like you and your stupid hands. <laughs> you always know how to just bring them in at the right moment. Um, no, just a lot of people talking about talking beards and what we're doing too, which was Dude, a lot of people. A lot of people watch this show that are abroad, I guess. And I, I handed Are out they single not, a, not a broad, oh, abroad, and I handed out like a thousand flyers while I was over there. That's cool. Whatever a whole stack of these is, I handed out most of it. So, you know, a thousand. There's so many different mullets. Like this mullet competition was crazy. He was showing me pictures, and there's all these categories. There's links, and they have different names, and like the reds have like names and if you shave your head it's a different category like the mullet people have legit mullet com competitions and you have to be they they said you had to be really uh you had to really feel yourself i don't know the right word like be confident you had to be extremely confident to have a mullet and you know i felt pretty confident all weekend because i was wearing a fanny pack all weekend and it was amazing. I looked so good in it. That'd be really cool to like, if we could do like a mullet slash beard competition. So you said, so you're saying I should grow a mullet. Is that what you're saying? No, no. You should grow a mullet. Uh oh, Kim's going to start a show talking mullets. <laughs> talking mullets. <laughs> do it, Josh. Do it, Kim. Kim. Do it, Kim. <laughs> Where was what, Tyler Hill? Tyler Hill. Where was it? Uh, the mullet competition was in Australia. Talking butts and mullets. So yeah, that was that was Saturday. We we did the interview and then the competition that you just you know it's we've already gone over two yeah. minutes, so we can't really get into all that. But, um, and then and then Sunday, that's you know we talked about parade. you walking backwards in the parade, getting almost arrested, and so. So wild, dude. So much. Like, there's just so much to you can't even you can't even start at the end of the show about everything that yeah, happened. But, well, we had we had already talked about the parade earlier. So if you want to hear about that, you can go back to earlier in the episode and uh hear all about it and stuff. So if you want to hear all about the parade in a week or so, I'm going to post literally the entire parade on <laughs> Some sort of so some sort of social media platform, most likely MySpace. Talking beards. Oh, <laughs> Facebook page. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe I'll I'll post it on YouTube and then add a link or I don't know. We'll we'll figure out a way to to make it work. But it's it's about an hour and forty five minutes. And if you stick through it, like there's some dead spots, and maybe we'll edit it and cut out some of the dead spots. But dude, there's so much gold in this thing. It's it's amazing. You just have to dedicate two hours of your life and watch this whole thing. And if you just look around, it's really cool because, you know, we're, we're walking the streets of Antwerp, Belgium. So the, the architecture and everything is just amazing over there. Okay. Well, we're going to, we're running over a little bit now. So let's, uh, well, I mean, we got, we got a bunch of people watching still. So I mean, what do you does, want to do? does anyone have any more questions for Aaron about his his trip over there? We can we can do a a a, a real quick trivia if you want. We could do like five questions, and I got some stuff I can give away. All right, how about that? Does anyone want to do trivia? Let's do trivia. Come on, people, we ready? Dennis Black five just got here. Trivia. Five question trivia. Let's do this, and we'll try to do it quickly. Okay, well, how about that trivia. We we have we do have some Mudcat Whisker stuff, so we'll do give that away. So trivia is, okay. well, trivia, is trivia is brought to you by Mudcat Whiskers. Uh, you can go to mudcatwhiskers.com. When you place your order, you want to type in the code Talking Beards, two separate words, just like you would see it, and you will get twenty five percent off your order and an additional free bottle of unreleased oil, Evangeline. Uh, it's a, I, it was some sort of like smoked kind of smell, which is one of my all time favorites. I love the tobacco. Five. That's C. You can, you can never give them enough numbers. If 
you would have said between one and ten, you would have said eleven. Exactly. Whatever the highest number is, it's is one, just past that. Yeah, just one more. All right, so let's do this as quickly as possible. We'll do five questions, and that's stupid. We're going to do the movie trivia again. That's it. So here we go. Which president presented Forrest Gump with a Medal of Honor? JFK, LBJ, or Richard Nixon? Reagan. Obama. Catherine Kalabadaka Daka Badaka said JFK. LBJ. Where was that one? Where, where, where? That's not even pronounced. She didn't even capitalize it. That's a proper noun. You're stupid. Okay, right. go. In what city does Mrs. Doubtfire take place? Las Vegas. Los Angeles or San Francisco? I don't in know. City, in what city does Mrs. Doubtfire take place? L.A., Las Vegas, or San Francisco? San Francisco again. So I think my sister's cheating. That's two. So she gets this when it's over. Which movie was the only animated feature to open the Cannes Film Festival? The Fran- That's in France. C A N N E S. Yes. Film Festival. Finding Nemo, Up, or Steamboat Willie? Steamboat Willie. Yeah, that's that's the original Mickey Mouse movie. Huh? Did it open up the the Cannes Movie Festival? Ooh, um, Josh yes, Barney. it was up. Josh Barney up. I'm sorry, <laughs> you we're battling back and forth. <laughs> All right, so Josh Barney won. Okay, the, Can- the score cans. The the uh, score currently is Catherine Alpaca Dakawaka two, Josh Barney one. What tournament does Danny win in Caddyshack? What tournament does Danny win in Caddyshack? Wimbledon. <laughs> it, it was Wim- Wimbledon. Did you know in the state of Ohio it's illegal to put stickers on people's foreheads? You could get arrested. You're going to jail. <laughs> I'm a criminal right now. So I don't know if my sister is just being really, really specific or not, because I've never seen that movie. But that that sounds pretty right, because this is the Caddy Tournament, and this is the 35th annual Caddy Day Tournament. So I'm I'm going to say she she was right. Now, is that like Cadillac? Yeah, Cadillac, Cadillac Tournament. Cadillac Apple Daca. Sorry, I just studied that movie. So there you go. She she got it. Oh. So you get more Mudcat Whisker stuff, Catherine Colleen Apodaca. She's gonna so pass her winnings. You uh oh, I passed my winnings. What? Does that mean you ate them and you're like digested them and them out. she's gonna poop? Oh, them I got out. a good pooping story. No, so I don't. was I was I was flying in the plane. Like my arms were getting tired and I was I was in the bathroom using it and I was in there for an extended amount of time because sometimes it takes me a while and the chick was freaking banging on the door like the airplane uh attendant attendant stewardess. Oh my earbud thing's dying. So yeah, not the stewardess, but whatever, you know, the flight attendant and apparently she was gonna come in on me so she unlocked the door as I was washing my hands and like opened it Mike I said I was in here anyway that was my pooping story the end the so end. yeah 
So we've gone over 11 minutes, so we can go ahead. Do you have anything else to say, Scott? Before? No, I mean, I'll just, uh, I'll wrap my side up. But uh, if you want to find out more information about myself and what I do, I do a podcast called The Beardcaster. It's right there. Uh, you can go to thebeardcaster.com. Uh, you can subscribe to the podcast there. You can listen to it right there. I have a player right on top. Um, but mostly what you'll find um, is a bunch of old episodes where I interviewed a bunch of different people that were in the beard scene um, or people somehow related to it. And uh, I share a lot of different stories. And then we started doing Talking Beards, so it's kind of transitioned into that. So these episodes that you're watching on Facebook get turned into podcasts now over at the Beardcaster uh website so you can check out stuff there so there's more information about me and stuff i do there but there's also you can watch talking beards there you can go to talkingbeards.com to watch it live i it's streaming over there currently so um if you don't if you don't have facebook and you want to watch it you can just go over to talkingbeards.com and you can watch it over there um we have a mailing list you can sign up for that um we haven't sent out anything yet but soon we will um and Make sure you uh, go to the BS Buttons Beard Bulletin Board, which is on um, off of our Facebook page. You just go to the top right there. There's a button. Click on it. And if you guys have anything that you want to share with us or with the community, please uh, um, just uh, put something in there, and we'll, we'll talk about it on next week's show. So, But like I said, Scott Sakura, thebeardcaster.com. Check me out. Subscribe. Like it. That's about it. Hey, so my mic is or my earpiece has died, so I can see that you've stopped talking, uh, but I don't know anything you just said. So I'm Aaron D. Johnston. You can check me out on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and all that good stuff. Thank you for watching, and I will do my best to get that video up as <laughs> soon as I can. Uh, I will probably go live this weekend and do some more interviews with some people at the 10th annual southeastern beard and mustache championships in charleston south carolina uh so tune in if you click on our facebook you can turn on the notifications that says talking beard is going live and you know friday night saturday night sunday night whatever day i decide to do it uh yeah we'll we'll tune in and check us out and i'll interview some random people i don't know so yeah that's it Thank you for watching. I appreciate all the the new watchers. We we got to like sixty eight thousand people, I believe, this episode. Yeah, still we still. I mean, there's still a ton of people in here right now. So, I mean, just keep the chat going, people. You know, talk amongst yourselves. Um, you know, keep it going. It's it actually helps us too because in fact we are obviously doing something right here on Facebook because they sent us an email about yeah they it. sent us an email. That said that uh, they wanted to chat with us about our growth and, you know, what we can do to work together and stuff like that. So, I don't know. We'll, we'll see what comes out of that Facebook phone call. Maybe maybe it was bogus. I yeah. don't know. Seem real. But, I mean, we're getting a lot of uh, really good analytics back on the show. So, we greatly appreciate everyone that's here. You know, when we do the show next week, we're going to try a little social experiment. And I'm going to just tell everyone now. But... Um, like we said, uh, hopefully Patrick Quinn is going to be our guest next week on Talking Beards. And we were going to want you to, when the show starts, we, right at the bottom, we want you to hit the share button. So it goes out to everyone on your friend feed so we can see if we can get even more people watching next time. So, uh, But other than that, we're just going to wrap this up. But uh, Aaron, um, back to you. And we're... Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're pretty much done. So thank you for tuning in. Uh, we had a real good time tonight. We appreciate everybody, and we'll see you next Tuesday. So stay tuned for exciting episode clips. Uh, wait a minute. Exciting clips from next week's episode. Yeah. Ciao. And thank you, guys. We really hope that you guys enjoyed the show. Um, like I said, there's a lot of really cool information a lot of great people won some great accolades this year at the 2019 world beard mustache championship uh we'd like to congratulate all of them and uh 
congratulations to all the people that did go and didn't place, but I know you all had a good time. Like Aaron, I know him and Natalie had a really good time over in Belgium. So, uh, yeah. So if you have anything you want to share with the show, like I said, go to the BS Buttons Beard Bulletin Board over at the Talking Beards Facebook page. It'll say visit group at the top that button that's what you're gonna hit and it'll take you over there so you can share some other cool stuff other than that i'd like to share the new promo code for mudcat whiskers who sponsor our trivia each week um if you go to mudcatwhiskers.com and enter promo code talking beards two words you will get 25 percent off your order plus you will get a bottle a free bottle of unreleased oil that they are getting ready to launch so they're giving you a heads up they're giving you guys uh the the first the first stab at it so uh but go to go to that was weird go to mudcatwhiskers.com don't forget to enter promo code talking beards so that's pretty much all we have for you this week uh our guest next week is mr two beard patrick quinn uh took third in worlds for chops Now, I know this is going to be an extremely controversial episode because of how we feel about Chops guys, because they shave off the best part of their beard, Uh, but we won't hold it against them. But apparently he had a really interesting uh, story that went along with his trip to Worlds, and we wanted to kind of talk about that. So make sure you tune in next week for another exciting adventure of Talking Beards, 8 p.m. Eastern Live every Tuesday. So go check us out on TalkingBeards.com. And other than that, that's all we got for you. We shall see you next week. Okay, and uh, we are out of here. Ciao. This. We got to definitely thank him. Who, who did this? Uh, Amari Amari from France. Uh, France. I don't think he's actually from France, but with a name uh, like Amar- Amari Amari, that sounds like Italian. Amari Amari from Beard Wiser Shop. Well, he did. He did these. Why we're recording right now for uh, the Beardcaster Extra bonus material? We'd like to thank. Oh, hey. hey, yeah. Make sure you go over to the Beard Wiser Shop on Facebook or. I believe that's their, I don't like that, their website. Check out all the cool stuff they give. I like that one. Shut yeah, up. me too. This <laughs> looks good. Aaron's putting pictures of himself over my face on the screen right now. That was that was me turning it on and off. Turn the beat on and off. I'm going to refresh my coffee. Okay, bye. You got coffee? You got coffee? Yeah, I made it this morning and I forgot to drink it. Boy, are your arms tired. I know. And the recorder's going, so hopefully someone calls you, Chris. (laughs) Oh, gosh, I hope so. Oh, yeah. That was amazing. Dude, some Apple support called me the other day. and It was hilarious. Scott's so stupid. Don't you think so? Don't you think he's just stupid? No. <sighs> you suck. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do. I think he's dumb. I think he's, <laughs> he probably, his breath probably smells like poop right now. <laughs> Straight turds. Speaking of Scott Sakura, well, he left. <gasps> yes! Is it good? No. Oh. Hello. Oh, hello. <laughs> uh, this is Mr. Scrotum. Yes, uh, I was wondering if you would be interested in meeting with me to talk about the possibility of installing solar panels on your home. Solar panels? What's that? The things you put on your house so the sunshine shines and it powers the battery pack and then it powers your home without any wires your house. Really? And, and, but what what do I do at nighttime? Well, well the, sun, the sun will shine out during the day and it'll charge the battery packs. So you can use the battery packs <laughs> at nighttime to run power in your house. 
<laughs> well, <laughs> what, how many batteries do I need? Are well, they like sir, double A's, do you know, triple A's? Do you, know, do you know these 9-volt batteries that you put inside your smoke detectors? You mean the ones I put my tongue on to give me that yes. tingly feeling? Yes. You will need about 155,000 of those that you will be purchased <laughs> on your own. <laughs> and we will install them into our sophisticated battery charging system station provider thingy majigger. <laughs> Excuse uh, me, sir, this is not a joke. <laughs> <laughs> it is a laughing matter, though. I, I don't think so. Saving the environment is definitely not a laughing matter, sir. <laughs> But my my uh, my roof is uh, it's uh, what if it's mobile? Well, we have a mobile system solutions for you if that is what you are seeking. They are made for mobile homes and they are retractable, just like retractable screens. These are retractable solar panels that will attach to the side of your mobile home. Hey, hey sir, you- sir, sir, sir. Let, let me ask you a question. Yes. Do you have a beard? Uh, no, I do not, sir. Well, I think you should watch Talking Beards, and that way it will inspire you to grow a big, beautiful beard and never shave again. What does that have to do with solar panels, sir? Absolutely nothing. But just like the sun gives you life, your beard will give you life. Good day, sir. Good day. I said good day to you. Good day. I said good day. I said good day. That uh, moment of insanity was brought to you by the wonderful people of Sun City Solar Solutions for Sun Solar Systems. Silly. Oh, welcome back, Scott. Hey, oh, Scott. He, you just he missed it. A... Thanks for distracting Did me. Did I miss anything exciting? <laughs> I was distracted nope. from my PowerPointism my, or my Photoshopism. You like our background? No. Why? Oh, it's a monkey. It's the snoring monkey. <laughs> it's the logo of the club that put on the event. Does he really snore though? Snoring, snoring club. It, it's is, I don't know what it means. Is it is the monkey's name Norman? Snoring Norman. Yes. Oh my gosh! Breaking news, everyone! Breaking what? news. What? Cardi B cancels several performances due to plastic surgery procedures. Ooh, that's exciting. I still don't ah. even know who Cardi B is. She is a uh, rapper stripper person. She's did a spoonerism on the name Bacardi. It's Cardi but- B. Oh, that's pretty funny. I didn't know that. Yes, that's what it is. Hmm. I wonder if I have something. This is what it sounds like when I brush my beard. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Chris is jealous. He's got a four-inch vagina. (laughs) (laughs) Dude, I spit my tea out in my car. That's awesome. What kind of tea was it? Was it Yorkshire tea? Yorkshire terrier pea? Derbyshire. No, it was green tea. Was that on... That was on that bit... Okay, that was on the that video. Yeah. I think Matt Wall's going to try to watch tonight. One o'clock in the morning? Yes. Cool. 